Well, folks, what we're doing is we're, all of us are using kind of a combination of things. I just caught what would have been a keeper gag on a dead thread fin. I caught another one on a white bait and they've been catching porgies and trigger fish on, uh, on shrimp. So we're just, they're biting pretty good. The bite's been, the bite's been good after this front. Um, but they haven't probably eaten for a couple days, so they're pretty hungry, I, I would imagine. But it's not taking long, just like that. <laughs> we don't need no stinking net. Unless it's a red grouper, but I don't think it is. It might be now, it's starting to act like one. <sighs> Nope, another gag. Uh oh, got it to leave it the dirty Ernie. Yeah. Come on, dirty Ernie. Okay. Oh, daddy. Cold gag. Red. That's a red grouper. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah. No leaf shrimp. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a gag. It's too cold to swim. Get him, Katie. Oh, big, oh, big hog. Nice. Good job, Ernie. Ernie, Ernie coming through. Coming through. Oh, son of a biscuit. He didn't come up like a hog, did he? No, he sure didn't. Came up like a five gallon bucket. Ernie, Ernie getting it done. There's a hoggy. No. At least I don't think so, not right now. Babe, is that net over there? That's a definite hog. <clears throat> That's a big hog. No. Not that big. He's okay. He just fought hard. Yeah. Wow. Crazy how hard they bite. Yeah, and you know if you see them swimming down below, they don't move their tail. Wow. They only swim with their pectorals. Wow. Yeah, it's weird. Big old mangrove. Look at the size wow. of that thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but you know what that was on? What? Frozen sardine. On that? Yep. straight into the thing. Oh, 
small hog. We like heavy hogs. This will be a keeper. Actually, I think this might be a gag. Barely had him hooked. Hoggy! Oh. Okay. Oh my god, that's a stud. Holy crap! The one I was telling you yep. about, buddy. <laughs> I'm yeah. not top liver, but. Yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. like that one. That boy. Woo, 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 woo. That's a good one. Way to go, Dirty Earth. Wow. Jake's done. So folks, what I'm doing is I'm I'm using the slacker jig, one eighth ounce slacker jig in the octopus, and uh, I'm just putting on the dead sardine and the snapper seam. They're eating, they are eating live bait, but they're eating the sardines just as well. So I'm just letting it go down, it's getting about three quarters of the way down in 84 feet of water, and boom. They're eating. Not bad. Not an Ernie snapper, but I'll take it. by far my most favorite fish to catch. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just kind of pitching it out just a little bit because the tide is slowly coming back at us. I mean, extremely slow. We kind of have a flat tide today on that incoming tide or that actually outgoing tide. It's a very short, just flat outgoing tide. And the bite has actually been pretty good. Uh, typically when you have a crap tide like that offshore it's not very good but the bite's been the bite's been pretty good as you can see the fish are coming off the bottom they've been off the bottom since we've been here so that's a lot of mangrove snapper coming off the bottom so if you're out and you're wanting to target Martin mangrove snapper especially offshore that's what you want to see is you want to see that show of fish you don't want to see them all clawed together. You want to kind of see the streaks going up. That's them coming up into the water column. And a lot of times that's when you can use the slacker to get them to eat farther up the water column. Yes, you have to have patience to do this. Oop. Sometimes it doesn't take... Oh, son of a biscuit either. That one just came on hook. Well, I was using that was a that was a dead uh, Mahara, but I've been using whole sart, Spanish sardines, 
I've been using live white bait. The more natural you can present that bait, no matter if it's on the bottom or if it's in the mid water column or up top, the more natural you can present that bait to them, the more they're gonna eat it. So that's why even when I'm bottom fishing, me personally, I like to use as light as I possibly can go to get to the bottom. But it's kind of a finesse thing. You kind of have to have the patience to do it. Kind of like Chad has the patience to fish for hogfish. So basically when I get to a certain level, just depending on the depth, I'll start feeding it by hand so I can actually feel the bite sometimes. Sometimes they just start ripping off line like that last fish did. But... See, that right there, he hit it. Son of a biscuit eater! A lot of times too you can sit there and do this and lay your line on the wa on top of the water, especially when the tide's not moving. And you can kind of watch it that way too and see if it starts to take off. But I'm pulling about five times and then I start pulling in or start pulling out my my hand. Because they're hitting it just after that. This could rival Ernie's. I've got Ernie's. Yep. Mine. That's what it's all about right there. I got a hose, don't worry about it. I got a hose. I got a hose, hose, hose. Sir. We did good today. We did. We did good. This well, I don't know about Katie. This is that. That's it? This I thought you had a snapper, Katie. She had a hogfish and a snapper. Oh, that's right. She had a hogfish and a snapper. We got, what, four hogfish? Five. Five hogfish. Some big snapper. Yeah. That was a good day. It was a good day. Yes. It was a very good day. Short day. I mean, considering we 
Left here at what, 8.15? Right. Mm -hmm. Didn't leave the Skyway after catching bait till about 9.30. Yeah. <laughs> Got out there about 10.15. Fished, moved around a little bit. Whacked them, we came back. Yep. And we left them biting. We did. We left them biting. They were doing really good on the slackers. So um, that's always fun to catch, catch fish on light tackle, especially these snapper. I love catching these snapper on the on the light tackle, like um, 20 pound leader, slacker jig. It just, I love doing it. Love so doing it. This is 15 inches. Are these snapper. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good ones. Yep. And we threw away, or uh, threw back a lot. A lot, of, a lot of those. Yep. Yep. All right, folks. Well, again, uh, hoping you uh, un got an understanding of what I was talking about when it comes to using that light stuff, uh, finding those mangrove snapper up in the upper water column. When you're when you're targeting mangrove snapper, and that's a little bit what we were targeting today. We were just trying to catch anything, but we. We, were, we knew that we can get into some mangrove snapper and sure enough if you see the upper water column being filled up not like compressed with fish but little lines of fish coming up more times than not those are mangrove snapper and uh, the bite was ridiculous especially right before we left it was crazy we caught a lot of fish so it was a good day quick day a lot of fun with Katie and Ernie always have a blast with them uh just to let you guys know again we do have the saint pete boat show coming up this weekend for thursday friday saturday and sunday i'll be there all four days chad i think will be there friday saturday and sunday or saturday and sunday so we'll be there um uh, come up and see us the weather looks like it's going to be a little bit windy but not horrible but anyway, it's going to be beautiful. Come up and see us. We'll be in the Sunray Marine booth. We appreciate them for having us as usual. Uh, uh, so we're looking forward to that. If you guys have any questions, have any suggestions, have any ideas for shows, like I said, we want to kind of start expanding out this year, please let me know because if I can make it happen, I'm going to make it happen. Again, I want to say thank you very much for watching. We really, really appreciate it. Thank you for all the support. And again, we do have that loyalty program. So if you have not signed up for it, subscribe to the website. It will give you five points. And then every purchase that you make will give you two points. So when you hit 20 points, you'll get 10% off of the entire store. And every time you hit 20 points, you'll get 10%. So again, we just that's a way of us saying thank you to all of our loyal uh, customers. Fish more, catch more, and we'll see you on the flip side.